Hey Fleet, it's Boss. Coming back with another video. This one I'm going to talk about uh, keybinds. As you can see here, if you've watched my other videos, you may have been wondering. Some people have asked me about keybinding. So I'll talk about it real quick. All I'm going to do is, uh, I'm in the sphere here, I'm just going to have these enemies in front of me and I'm just going to hit the space bar. And you can see that as I'm hitting the space bar, you can see my second row skills there are all activating, right? Along with the space bar. Right, so they're all cool down. I didn't do anything to hit those buttons. I just hit the space bar and it did that. Um, as you can also see, you can see how my shields are, that they're kind of pulsing. Because uh, the hitting the button not only it fires my weapons, activates all the abilities in this row here, as well as distributes my shield. So that if I'm under attack, it'll automatically uh, distribute my shields to help uh, my shields last a little bit longer. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm not going to do it on this character because I want to show you it from scratch, and I don't want to mess with uh, with his keybinds because I have more than just I have a couple of custom keybinds in there so let me switch tunes real quick and I will show you on another guy that I'm uh, a little bit cheap here and uh, we'll do it on him So I'm going to take all his uh, binds away. Let me go to a system here so you can see that. Oops. All right, here in the Jorette system. All right, so you can see uh, I'm going to hit space bar and you can see that I've got Everything on here is all bound, so it's all firing away while I'm hitting the space bar here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all that. So I'm going to go to slash unbind all. What that's going to do is now when I hit space bar, it doesn't do anything. All right. So I'm hitting space bar, nothing's happening. So I've gotten rid of all my binds. All right. So. Let's, we'll talk about where we're going to go from there, alright? So, uh, I'm going to alt-tab out of here, and I'm going to go show you guys this website called the Hilbert Guide. And the Hilbert Guide is a, like it says, cookie cutter approach PvP. So, um, it's got a lot of great tips in here. Uh, key binding is just one of them. There's it, Some of it's outdated, but it's got the key bind file right here. So, uh, just scroll down just a little bit to the key bind section. And you can see here spacebar.txt. That's what we want to do. So I'll right click that and save it as. And uh, where's my desktop? Right on the desktop. All right. So I want to go to my desktop. And here I got spacebar.txt. So let's open it up, see what's in there. All right. So. You can see this first line. We've got button four, and then plus sign, power, execute, distribute shields, right? So, button four is a button on a mouse. It's one of the extra buttons on your mouse. So, I actually, when I get this file, I usually I don't use that the extra button on the mouse. So I just get rid of that line. You don't have to. It's not going to hurt anything if you don't. Uh, but if you do use it, then go ahead. So the next thing we got here is space, and then a sp and then a, a space. So it's got the word space, which means space bar, and then a space, and then quote. So we're gonna. So that's what we would do if you wanted to bind something other than the space bar. You could like bind a different key, uh, but we again we want to do it with our space bar since that's what we're using to fire with. So, the first command it's going to do to fire 
uh, is going to fire our weapons, right? And then the two dollar signs means we're going to give it another assignment. So we're going to do not just fire weapons, we're also going to do this tray exec by, uh, by tray. So plus means that's a command we want it to do, and then this is the command we want it to do, which is basically everything that's on this tray in this spot we're going to fire, we're, we're going to activate it. So that starts on zero, so the first tray, tray number one, this down here, this is tray zero. So see how this is a seven? That's actually the six that it's showing right here, right? So six is referring, all right, this this row and zero is referring to this um, ability or power. And then we're gonna do another command, it's a dollar sign, dollar sign, and then this, and then we're gonna go same row, next ability. And so we're gonna do that all the way to the end and then the last one is that distribute shields, right? So that's the that's the next thing that we're going to do is hit the space bar. It's also going to distribute our shields. Uh, the other thing that's included in the bind is this T. So if I hit after I load this up, when I hit T, it's going to in team chat. And you guys have probably seen me do this before if you've ever been teamed up with me before. But it's going to show like target and then whatever I have targeted it's going to show it there so if I wanted to if we were all on a team and I wanted to tell everybody to fire on the cube all I have to do is just select the cube to fire on it and then hit the T button and it's automatically in team chat going to say target cube so that's comes in handy um, so anyway so this is what we got this is just the spacebar.txt. You can customize it if you want. Mine's a little bit custom, so I'm not gonna just fully replace it. So I can do that. I'll save it, close it out, and then I'll go to my desktop here, and then I gotta I gotta stick it in the in a correct folder. So what your folder you're gonna look for is the live folder. So live folder here um, and it is for my computer I don't know where it is on your computer but it's uh, x86 STO STO and then live so if you go to wherever your Star Trek online is loaded up you should have another folder called Star Trek online click on that and then live right and then I'm I can just take my spacebar.txt and just load it right up into that and you can see that I've got that spacebar and I've got a couple other ones that I I modified this one to kind of do some different things so you can do that you can tweak around with it and I'll show you how you know some other ways some other things that you could possibly do there so I've got this file in here now so I can close that out go back to my game then here in my chat window, I just go slash bind, and I want to bind load file. Bind underscore load underscore file. And then the file name was spacebar.txt. And that is going to take those commands that are in that file and load them. So now I want to hit spacebar. There it goes. And you can see it's distributing my shoes. Alright? So, there you go. That's uh, how to load up a keybind. Uh, you can also do it, just remember that the keybinds only work for where you, where you are. So I'm in space right now, so it's going to bind it to space. So if I go on the ground and I hit space bar, it's not going to do that. I have if I wanted to bind something on the ground you actually have to go on the ground and then do the bind load file whatever it is um, and really uh, that's all there is to it uh, if you do use you know if you are somebody in the past I have had builds where I've um, done like uh, like a torpedo but I don't want the torpedo to auto fire I want to wait till I get their shields down and then hit another button. So um, 
that could become in handy. So I can make a, I can take that space bar um, file and I can make a new one. Uh, we'll say, I don't know, uh, I don't know, you name it. Maybe I can do it to row eight here. And I'll just throw it in. I'll just throw, for example, maybe this is a torpedo. Or maybe I have a torpedo just sitting around somewhere. Uh, no such luck. Don't see one. Um, okay. Anyway, so we'll say that I, I want that one cannon to not auto fire, right? So I take it off. Of course, I'm not going to know which is which. That's problematic. Um, anyway, so let's say, for example, oh, yeah, I can do that. That works. So I can take this and I can drag it onto my row eight. So and let's say I wanted to, uh, you know, if it was a torpedo, I could I probably put like torpedo spread or torpedo high yield. I could do that all together. So let's say that I wanted, it's going to go in order. So if I wanted to do the high yield first, I'd want to move this over. And then if this was like high yield, I could stick it there. So then when I hit whatever button I bind it to, it'll do that first, and then it will fire the torpedo. Um, so I'll show you that real quick, and we'll, I'll just use the, the spacebar.txt file and just modify it. So let's call it, um, I don't know, I think Y is one that's unbound. I've used that before for things. And I don't want fire phasers all right I just want to do the tray exec bat and I did that in row eight right so I'm gonna do seven zero seven one seven two and I'm gonna change all these so that I really anything that I put in that row will work when I hit the Y button So mess around with it, and uh, it's really fun to do. And if you mess up and it's not working like you want, then just do the unbind slash all, and then you're back to being in business. And I don't want it to distribute shields because my space bar does that. So there you go. And you could do this like just in the chat window if it's small enough. Um, you could actually just go to the chat window and then you could type in in your chat window it would look like this slash bind and then y and then if you just typed this in but i think it's too long i'll try it if you just type that in on the game it would just do that so i hit copy and paste and you can see that was too long it doesn't fit so it's gonna it would do everything but the last one so i don't really want that so um I'll get rid of that and I'll actually do the bind load file. So, uh, let me go back out here and then I want to save it as and I'll call it, I don't know, Y bind. Okay, there's my Y bind. So I'll go out. I'm going to throw that in the. the live folder. There's my Y bind. Back to the game. And then I want to go bind underscore load file Y bind dot txt. Call it good. And then when I hit the Y button, it should work, but it's not. it out make sure I make sure I got the file right oops so I wanted to do
bind Y. Oh, that's because I left the slash bind in there. I didn't want to do that. All right, that's why. Okay, all better. Now, slash bind load file. Y bind dot txt. Now it should work. Hit Y, and there we go. So if I was to do that, uh, that's that's a good option to do if you do use torpedoes or a lot of people do it with like a beam overload. So if you got a dual beam bank, but you want to wait until like your uh, until the shields are down or you got attack power and alpha or something like that, then you could again right click it so that it's not on auto fire anymore. Then when I hit space bar. Um, it's only gonna fire my auto fire weapons, uh, and then when I'm ready and I want to fire uh, like a torpedo or, or a dual beam bank or whatever, then I can do that. Uh, just keep in mind that with the build that I have right now, it won't really work because you can uh, that space bar at TXT. The command in it is fire phasers, so fire phasers would fire cannons and it fire uh, beam arrays so if you want to use a torpedo that would work but if you had a dual beam bank it would not work because it would actually when you hit spacebar it would fire that be that dual beam bank so an or one way to get around that is in your uh, row seven here with your spacebar you could actually take these three things and you could load them in there one two three and then you could take out that that command, that general command there. Uh, you'd want to take out this gen message send root fire phasers or whatever. You'd want to take all that out. And so your space bar bind would look just like that. Um, if you're, and that's for a dual beam bank thing. So um, there's a couple things that you might have to do, you'd have to do to tweak around that. One other thing that I will mention is that the way this thing works is if you hit the space bar too fast it won't go like one two three like that the way it works is it will actually go here and then it will start from the other other way so if I hit space bar you can see how it's starting from the left the right to the left because I'm hitting it so fast so just keep that in mind um, because the first thing it was, the first command that was in there was fire phasers, and then I hit it again really fast, and so the second command it went all the way to the end. If you remember, that was distribute shields, and then it went from the back, which was here, 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 here. So it's a good idea to load these up backwards the way that you want them, the sequence that you want them to fire in. So um, that's that. And you can do the same thing on the ground. I have a, a ground bind that I use, uh, but just remember you got to be in ground mode. And if you remember, uh, I don't, I'm not even close to any ground here. Let me transwarp somewhere where I can be in the ground. Uh, I don't want to do that. I can go here. That's that's fine. Uh, uh, defer and. I'll just show you real quick the ground bind and how it's different. Because I ran into this problem when I first did a ground bind and I could not figure out what the issue was. And uh, after doing a lot of reading, I found it out. So uh, save you guys some trouble if you do decide to make one of these up for your ground. Uh, this could save you some trouble if it's not working. So what I originally did was I was here and I was in the ground and I would I did my bind load file and all that. Um, so anyway, sorry I was just reading Ento's uh, PM there. So I have it bound and I think I've got it in ten here. So you can see if I hit this gonna make my minds or whatever and if I hit it again it'll do everything else um, 
and all that good stuff. So, but then when I wait in to shooter mode like this, this is which is usually how I run around. I would do it. It didn't work. I could not figure out why. So ground mode and shooter mode are two different modes. Kind of like space is different from ground. So there's really three modes. Space, ground, and shooter mode. So you actually have to do the bind while you're in the shooter mode. So I found that out. The problem, the hard part is you can't really get to the chat bar or chat window because I'm moving my mouse and it's just moving. So just hit enter and then that'll bring up your chat window. So then you can just do the, you know, bind load file or whatever and then type it in. So that's that. Uh, any, um, if there's anything else anybody can think of, feel free to uh, message me. I, I can make a, a new video, video including that, or I could just, uh, you know, add it to the comments of the video there on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, good luck out there.